Okay, so the fourth video here is removing all the hardware. We have um, a set of Allen keys that uh, Brooker gave us for this uh, setup. And you primarily use uh, 8, 6, 5, and 4. Boy, it's not focusing, but 8, 6, 5, and 4 millimeters. Remember, all Brooker's stuff is basically metric. And so if you ever see uh, a tool that Brooker gives you, it's not in inches or imperial, it's in metric. So uh, first thing we can do is we can disconnect this little um, resonator stabilizing mount that was installed in our magnet. So I do that by just getting my, my I believe this is the 6 millimeter Allen key. Get that in there, and just loosen these guys to start, and then take them out. All right, and then you can support it and have someone hand thread it, or you can do it with your two hands. I only got one hand right now. I'll try to lean up this camera against the uh, bridge, but basically you can loosen these these six millimeter bolts and remove this whole stabilizing arm. And you know, you don't really need to remove this, but it's good to have it out of the way for whenever you're trying to manhandle. And you're trying to manhandle this um, cryostat out from its little cubby in here, okay? The second thing you've got to loosen is down here. You notice I've got some tape on here, a perfect, beautiful way of keeping these wires out of the way. But um, we've got these two um, bolts, which have Allen key holes in them, but we never adjust those. These two bolts adjust the height of how the, the cryostat sits in the magnet. And once that's, you know, quote-unquote calibrated, we don't touch those. This bolt and this bolt st uh, stabilize the um, cryostat in place. They hold the cryostat down against the magnet so it doesn't vibrate. And I'm just testing, yep, this is a five millimeter um, bolt, Allen key bolt right here and here. Okay, so you'll loosen these, okay, and you can take them all the way out. All right, I'm not gonna do that because I'm not removing the cryostat today, but you remove this one, you remove this one entirely, and if you want to keep a grad student just sitting here making sure that this thing doesn't fall over, you know, you can, but it usually it's heavy enough that it'll just sit here and it won't move until you're ready to move it. Okay, so take those two bolts out, grab your Allen keys and move around to the back and then we'll do the last video on the back.